You are watching KHNL News 8. Welcome back. As surfers enjoy the last South Shore swell of the summer season, many of them are walking out of the water with dings, dents, and on occasion, even a broken board. But as Angela Keene reports, one local company is using what's called nanotechnology to take all those worries away. Anyone who sees Keanu Kuna would think he's just an average surfer on a quest to catch the next epic wave. He is a surfer, but he's also a civil engineer, testing out the first ever nano surfboard created by scientists at local company Oceanit. For me, I'm really hard on my equipment, canoe, surfboard, whatever, so it's actually the perfect thing for me. His goal on this test ride is to do whatever he can to injure the board. While Keanu knocks it around, his colleague and engineer Vinri Vidu watches closely. Vidu helped develop this special lighter, stronger resin with nanotechnology. Well, it's absolutely a great feeling because, you know, if you can make, if you can bring a technology to a level where it can be applied for lay layman, and it's, it's, a, it's in a layman language now, you can use a surfboard and say that it's lighter, stronger, and it's long-lasting. So, you know, there is nothing like it. Nano is the latest to ride the wave in the high-tech science industry. It uses microscopic nanoparticles like the one shown in this little tube. They're 80,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. You can't see it, but titanium nanoparticles are inside the resin on Keanu's board, and that's what makes it lighter and stronger. It's a great board, and I think with the resin, it probably just only impacts the, the durability of the board. Oceanit is just in the test phase with this nano board, but Keanu says as a surfer, he'd be willing to pay a little extra, knowing he can rip without causing any major damage. Angela Keene, KHNL News 8. A Nobel Prize winner, along with dozens of scientists and engineers from all over the world, are in Honolulu studying the surfboard and all kinds of nanotechnology this week at the East-West Center.